A CV has an automated consumable, which means you do not have control over it, which is a strength in the sense that you're always gonna use the consumable if it's available and it's gonna heal whatever the hell needed to be healed. Did you have an engine break? Did you have a fire? Did you have a flood? It auto heals. Also, it lasts for 60 seconds, which is quite a long duration and can be buffed through use of the Armories plus, plus duration mod or whatever for coal. Um, which I have done on the, the German CVs, because occasionally you want to try to derp around with secondaries or whatever. But once that's down, you have a 90 second cooldown. So, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put this here. Damage con, 60 second duration, with a 90 second uh, cooldown. So why is it a five second fire? Because if you're under constant shell fire, so let's say you get hit, it pops, cool. 60 seconds go by, you've got a Smol, you've got a Wooster, you've got a Des Moines, you've got a whatever the hell's shooting you to set fires. If it sets a fire, it deals 16.66 seconds worth of damage in five seconds and then goes out and you can light another fire. And it deals 16.66 seconds worth of fire damage and goes out and you can light another fire. So during this 90 second cooldown, you have an enhanced fire window for ships which are constantly shooting to relight, which means that a surface ship can use the downtime to more extreme effect. What's the other use for this? Because if you have an enemy CV, so we'll just pretend this is a CV hull, and you're in say a British carrier, you can come across with one bombing flight of bombers, change this to a thicker thing, of carpet bombers come across, drop, light a single or multiple fires, automatically proc this. The CV has no ability to choose whether that turns on or not, record the time that the fire happened, come back in one minute, drop, light four fires, and the old version of CV did either 25 or 30 percent of hull per fire which means it's an auto kill it's dead which means you could snipe a cv in two minutes in a british uh in a british ship or potentially you could bomb it with mid bay bombs set two maybe three fires or something and kill it that way so you literally you proc the damage con you come back in a minute and then you kill the cv and it's dead so there's not a back and forth interaction the way that the cv CV versus CV combat is done now is that the CV is going to have four, uh, four defensive fighter consumables where as soon as the CV is spotted, planes will light off and they'll circle. And that circling does not stop the first attack, but it will shoot down basically any remaining planes. The FDR is a little bit of an outlier. Maybe the Kaga is a little bit of an outlier because they've got 12 planes but that's what the consumable does. So if you fly all the way across the map to hit the CV, like in the early game, you get one shot. And then you go back to your hull and you send out more planes. You come all the way across the map and you get one shot. You come all the way across the map, get one shot. It, with the fire being what it is, if you did that in a British CV, you come over, you carpet bomb the CV, light it on fire, auto proc the damage con, come back, drop it again and kill it. It's dead. So this duration change, the fire damage is increased, but the duration is lowered so that surface ships can set and reset and reset fires, whereas CVs are gonna have a limited amount of interactions, which means they might set a fire or two, which will burn out and then it'll be gone.